don't buy the Samsung Galaxy 5G phone. In this video, we're gonna tell you why. Yeah, so the new buzzword for 2019 is 5G, the new networking standard that's supposed to be implemented either 2019 or 2020, but the only problem is it comes with a price tag. A very, very expensive price tag. Yeah, so the 5G Samsung phones that it offers is one, the Samsung S10 5G, as well as the folding phone. At the moment, the Samsung S10 Plus fully spec'd out is $1,600 American. Yeah, and we know that 5G will definitely be much more expensive than that. Probably yeah. somewhere in the price range of what we see the Galaxy Fold being, about $2,000. So if you're willing to fork over that much money, all the power to you, but we're saying, it's not worth it. Price isn't the only reason that you shouldn't buy the 5G phone. Another reason is the infrastructure in Canada and America actually isn't available nationwide yet. So if you purchase this product, when it comes out, you're, only, you're gonna be very limited into where you're gonna use it. So if you go on like a road trip or something out of the major cities where they are available, like New York, you won't be able to utilize the 5G services. So a couple of things that 5G is supposed to offer is one, way faster bandwidth speeds, up to 20 times faster than 4G. So that means 20 gigabytes per second download speeds, which is insane. Very, very fast. One millisecond latency. So that means if someone's live streaming something, and you're watching it in real time, you're actually gonna be watching it in real time, which is very cool. So there's like no delay, right? There's no delay, which is something that 4G does not offer. It's about a 10 second response time, which is still pretty quick. So when you actually watch a live video, it's not actually live. That's, is that where we're at right now? I didn't, I thought they were actually like live. Well, there's a bit of a delay. One way to compare is one, you will have two different things playing the exact same thing. So if you're watching the Super Bowl being live streamed versus a TV show being live streamed, often your live stream on your computer will be delayed. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. And 5G was supposed, was supposed to enable. Yes, that. it's supposed to get rid of that. So another issue that we have with 5G phones is, would you ever use, or would you ever require that much download or upload speed? No. Probably not. Nobody's gonna really need to stream a 4K video very few people at least, unless you're like bins watching Netflix or something like that. But if you're using your device as, as the 5G phone watching yes. Netflix, you're not gonna be streaming a video walking in the street. That is one, gonna be super expensive because you're probably gonna have data overages. Two, yeah. you wouldn't do that. That's another thing too, data usage. Right now in Canada, it's about, you get an $80 plan per month, you get about five gigabytes of data mm -hmm. usage. Unless you're fortunate enough to get a, a better plan, but what's available right now is something along those lines. Yeah. If you can download up to 20 gigabytes per second, that's gone in under a second if yeah. you use that whole thing. So you are gonna be, if you use it and you don't have like a protective limit on your phone, you're gonna be paying probably thousands of dollars for these download speeds that you have been using for the month when you only want to pay $80 a month, right? So yeah. that, that $2,000 device quickly becomes, after a month, maybe a $3,000 device? That's rough. Yeah. That's rough. So one thing that we were made aware of is AT&T is saying that they are actually offering 5G but they're calling it 5G-E or 5G Evolution. Oh, right. The they're problem is they're currently being sued. Yeah, they're being deceptive because it's not actually 5G. No. It is apparently just a little bit faster than 4G and Sprint, like he said, is actually suing AT&T for being deceptive and telling their customers that they're getting 5G because actually, you know when you're on your phone and you can see the like the 4G mm -hmm. or the LTE, it yeah. actually shows 5G-E on AT&T phones. Yeah. So it's very deceptive and you could think, oh, on 5G, it must be very, very fast. But actually it's not, it's just 4G. That's it. It's just a bit faster. Has newer antennas, mm -hmm. Nathan. That's it. Another reason that you shouldn't buy the Galaxy S10 5G is because it is like the first in its class of a product. And usually when that happens, very few people purchase it. It's only usually the early adopters. And there obviously is gonna be malfunctions associated yes. with that. It's better to wait until a product like the 5G devices are matured in the marketplace mm -hmm. before you actually purchase it. Yeah, whenever you're a pioneer in any field, there's usually a tax that comes along with it for actually developing the stuff. I mean, look at rocket ships. Those cost a fortune. Look at- I look think at, they're gonna cost a fortune regardless though. Look at electric cars. No, but 5G at the moment is more of a marketing tactic instead of something that you will probably use every day. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like an incentive to, to raise the prices. Yeah. Nathan, yes. the question is, 
would you get a Samsung Galaxy 10 5G? No, absolutely not. For one, I like to go up north in the summers. Obviously, yeah. 5G is not going to be available in the north, no. so I wouldn't be able to use my phone. True. I would. Of course. <laughs> the only reason why is because that screen size. No, but seriously, don't don't buy anything that has this 5G marketing to it. It is not worth it. Yeah, we're saying wait until, like we said earlier, the market is more mature. Yeah. There's more products available for it. There are service providers that are saying that they have 5G infrastructure available. Wait until probably 2020, I would say, before you actually think about getting a 5G device. Then I it mean, will be actually available. Think about it. What do you do on your phone? You got Instagram, you got Twitter, you got Reddit. Yeah, very few people have unlimited data. So even I, who have 10 gigabytes of data. A okay, month, odd flex. I never watched YouTube when I'm not on Wi Fi. So I don't want to waste it that way. All right, the last point or the last reason why you should not invest in a 5G phone at the moment is to start, like Nathan said before, the times where you're going to be using a lot of bandwidth is when you're sort of sitting down in a room, you're on a couch, you're in a chair, you're watching Netflix. Usually there's Wi-Fi. In Canada, there's already Wi-Fi that supports up to 1.5 gigabytes per second. And we use it, and you wouldn't need 5G. Odd flex. Anyways, those are our reasons why you shouldn't buy the Samsung Galaxy 5G when it comes out. If you guys are planning on buying it, make sure you tell us or let us know why. Yeah, and subscribe if you're new.